We're here at Trout Lake in Washington State, USA. We're just 13 miles south of Mount Adams. Well, where Mount Adams is, but it's so cloudy today we can't see it. Um, we're at the Sadva Sanctuary, which is a recognized UFO hotspot, plus other phenomena. We're also near the Yakima Reservation, which for decades has been famed for its many UFO sightings and also near the location where Kenneth Arnold had his famous sightings of UFOs in 1947. We've had many, many scientists, physicists, ex-astronauts and other experts in the field of UFO investigation that have researched the sightings and other phenomena here. And James himself has hundreds of witnesses to these sightings. We're here to meet James Gilliland, who's a, a contactee who has spoken at uh, conventions and conferences all over the country. He has dedicated his life to bringing us the, the inspirational message of hope and direction that we all need, especially at this time when the world is in a state of environmental and political upheaval. We're going now to the Bridge House, James's home, to ask him about the activities at the Satva Sanctuary. So be prepared for the most wonderful spiritual uplift you're ever going to get. I'm James Gillen with East SETI and I'm here to tell you about something very wonderful that's happening here at the ranch. The uh, UFO activity has been going on here for hundreds of years. It's been documented by the Yakima Reservation, by the uh, other UFO researchers, Dr. Jalen Hynek, uh, Greg Long, Bill Vogel. Um, some very, very well-known people in the field have been out here and have been trying to document the ongoing UFO activity in the area. What happened with them is the UFOs would always leave. They were very elusive because they were using a different protocol to try to capture these ships on film. We tried a completely separate approach. What we did is we, we actually rose the occasion, and we've done a lot of intense process-oriented orient, therapy here, meditation, uh, inner sensitivity training, things of that nature, and rose up to the occasion because these are very spiritually and technologically advanced beings. Whereas in the other cases the UFOs are very elusive. Here they're actually working with us because they have a message and they're here to help humanity through some very challenging times that we're now moving into. Uh, the main message they've been giving over and over is that we have to release the past. We have to release the old wounds, the old traumas and wrong conclusions from past experiences, the old negative programming that we've been uh, given through a lot of the media and things of that nature that have, have uh, given us these images of, of uh, the universe as being a very nasty place and beings here to eat us and kill us and destroy us. It's actually quite the contrary. The, the universe is pretty much at peace. There's beautiful beings out there, very, very spiritually and technologically advanced beings and they've quarantined the earth for quite some time because we are very primitive and very aggressive but the quarantine is now over and they're starting to contact a lot of people here on the planet doing it through telepathy doing it through actually showing the people their ships saying this is real and actually giving them beautiful messages that it's time to clean up our consciousness here on the earth and clean up the planet uh, it's the messages that they're given are very spiritual they seem to be the same messages that all the great master teachers of every culture have given over the years. And it's all about living a very spiritual life in harmony with each, with each other and the planet. It's not uh, so much about technology and things of that nature. The technology has been given to key people here on the planet to restore the planet and end disease and, and uh, actually bring heaven on earth. and. We've gathered these people together and everybody's ready here to move forward to the next step and take a quantum leap in evolution or consciousness. And that's what this is really about. This is what why the ETs are here. They're here to assist us in this evolutionary process we're undergoing and take this quantum leap in consciousness. 
there's so many different realities out there. The, the doom and gloom, the negative reality, is the one getting all the press because that keeps the black projects and the war industry going and things of that nature. But the real true agenda going on, the, the higher agenda, the one that we have to rise to the occasion to experience, is not getting the press that it needs and not getting the information out. As well as, you know, we all know there's been a UFO cover-up for who knows how long, since the 30s it's been going on. People go, why would they want to cover up the UFOs? And the bottom line is because whoever has the best technology in any war is usually the one that wins the war. And so in the interest of national security, they've been back engineering this technology from various crash sites and withholding it from the public. But now that technology is necessary because of the challenges that we're undergoing. We have to bring in the clean, fuelless technologies. We have to bring in the technologies that can end disease, uh, the energetic healing technologies. All of this has to come forward now because of the challenges that we're soon to be facing and are facing right now. Uh, I can't tell you enough about how much they care for us, how much they care for all life in the planet. Uh, we now have 50 dead zones over 700 miles wide in the oceans. There's no plankton, there's no life, there's nothing in these dead zones. Our forests are going down at a rapid rate, uh, diminishing at, at astronomical proportions. The, the pollution, the waters, the poison of the air and the waters, everything is all heading us in a very downward spiral, you might say, that is going to end up in social, economic, and environmental collapse. And the bottom line is when the, when the environment collapses, end of story. Society collapses, economy collapses, everything collapses. So, you know, you're not going to be able to drive your Porsche or, or live in that fancy condo or anything else because, you know, it's there's going to be no food there. <laughs> you know, there's going to be no air there. You know, there's going to be, you know, it's, it's important to realize our oxygen levels were at 35% just 100 years ago. They're at, in Tokyo, they're measured at 7%. So, so the oxygen levels are going down. Without oxygen, we're gone. Our whole immune system is gone. Uh, our brains aren't getting the oxygen we need. Our hearts aren't getting the oxygen we need. Uh, if it keeps going in the, at the present rate pretty soon, you know, nothing else is going to matter. So uh, it's very important that we start bringing these new technologies out and bring these new healing technologies as well to restore the earth and clean up the planet and, and end disease. And this is their true message. They're very, very concerned about the path that we're on. They're here to inspire us to take a different path. And we have in incredible footage of them actually acting like cheerleaders and giving us great footage of ships coming in, powering up on a regular basis, lighting up the skies for thousands of witnesses. We've got top Boeing engineers coming here. We've had the Skunk Works, even Black Project people coming here and seeing these ships, and all of them agree that these are not ours. These are extremely technologically advanced beings that are on these ships, far beyond any technology that we have today, even in the back engineering programs. So this is an ongoing experience here. It's been going for 10 years. It's been, they've tried to suppress it for quite a long time. But now, I think even people within the agencies are realizing that this information has to get out. It's for the betterment of humanity. And we're going to need all the help we can get in the future to get through these challenges that are, that are up and coming. And that is one of the reasons why we're putting this video out, to let people know that there is help. There are some beautiful beings here that are here to assist humanity, call them the greater family of man. I don't really like uh, E.T. or... or uh, or some of the other names they're giving these beings. They're, some of them are exquisitely beautiful. They look like brilliant masters. They have brilliant light shining out of their eyes. They're extremely loving. Uh, you fall in love, them and love with them immediately when you meet them just because the energies that surround them. And this information is not getting out. And all we're given is a very negative agenda about bugs coming to Earth to eat people or conquer the planet. So it's time we rise up and rise in consciousness and greet these benevolent beings that are here to assist humanity in the earth. And we have some footage here too where you can actually see some of the ships coming in, lighting up, powering up. And there's been over well over 3,000 eyewitnesses and 60 hours of footage. 
and photographs of almost every ship you can think of. We've had we've had beautiful triangle ships. We've had ships that look like tetrahedron pyramids. We've had pink ships, green ships, blue ships, purple ships, uh, every color ship you can imagine come over, massive ships, cylinder ships. It, it's not just one thing that's happening here. The immense light ships have come over and powered up uh, the property here, and, and they've actually shown incredible displays of technology where they bilocate into as many as three ships and back to one again and then take off. So anyway, there's just the technology they're exhibiting is phenomenal. It's it's almost what you'd call miraculous, but to them it's an everyday thing. So it's important that we realize that we do have help. It's time to ask for that help, call on that help, and also rise to the occasion ourselves for this to happen because we need to raise our consciousness to actually participate in the awakening healing process of which they are a part of. Um, right, James, thank you very much for that. That was really good news. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little about the books and videos that you have out and perhaps your website and a radio talk show that you have now? Okay, great. Thank I'd you. love to. Um, one of the books I'm very, very proud of is uh, Reunion with Source. And it was actually, the information was given in 1982, and it's all unfolding right now. But it takes people through the very beginning of time and all the way through creation to now and it kind of includes the ultra-dimensional realities and gives very powerful healing technology in there and, and uh, techniques to keep your energies clear and, and clear any unseen negative influences and maintain your clarity and sense of purpose. The, the other one is, uh, I love this DVD, the Hawaii Conference. Um, Paul Hellyer, the Canadian Defense Minister, after I gave this lecture, came up to me and shook my hand and said, thank you so much for the work you're doing. And this uh, DVD shows all of the uh, latest photographs we've had here, incredible pictures of mother ships and the different beings that are on these ships. And it gives a, a very uh, vast description of the universe we live in and some of the different beings that are assisting us, just not on this physical level, but other dimensions as well. Uh, this other one here, uh, Keys to Utopia, I'm going to turn this one around a little bit because on the back this also has a lot of the ancient artifacts that are tied into the ETs and, and the, how they've interfaced with humanity throughout history. And it also shows the technology, the fuelless energy machines running and talks about some of the other healing technologies such as the crystallized oxygen water and other things of that nature that, are, that have come out now to assist humanity in these times that we're moving through. One of the last ones is the Bay Area UFO Expo. It was at a conference that I did in the Bay Area. And uh, again, it covers a lot of the information, the latest information, and, and covers a lot of the disinformation out there and, and just a lot of the nonsense going on where there's a lot of competition in the field of ufology and a lot, how a lot of people want to keep it into the nuts and bolts or keep it negative. And, and how to rise above that and bring out the true information of what's really going on. And our website, if people want more information, they can go to www.eseti.org. Uh, we have two websites. You can also go to the uh, james at gazekiel.org is another one. Or this, the type in Self Mastery Earth Institute. There's so many ways of getting a hold of us. But the best way to get a hold of us is the eseti.org, E-C-E-T-I.org, and that has all the information, all the latest books and DVDs and updates. There's also a newsletter, electronic newsletter people can connect with, and we have a talk show out now called BBS Radio. The show is As You Wish, and people can call in and ask questions, and we have some of the cutting-edge people in the field of paranormal ufology and spirituality, dedicated physicists that are here to assist in the awakening and healing of humanity and the earth are all regular guests on this show. And so you can actually get uh, the archives of that show and, and they're all archived and listen to them anytime on the I internet. Again, that's bbsradio.com uh, and you can go to eseti.org and there's a nice link there to the radio show. <laughs>